What's going on, guys? Welcome to the latest episode of the JLS Gaming Show. I'm your host, Will A.K. LaSalle. Let's do it. Let's get right into it. Gonna try to make this one a quick one. I'm all, I know I'm always saying that, right? This episode is sponsored by Real Money Team. So check it out again. You know, join, enter contests and give away realmoneyteam.com. Right now, it links to the Discord channel um, where we're doing giveaways. We're gonna be sponsoring some tournaments and all that good stuff. Um, but you know, pretty soon it's going to be a full blown, uh, website, right? We're just working on those things behind the scenes. So check us out guys. If you guys are out there, just comment because I'm seeing a little bit of lag and I'm hoping that's not the case. Again, I'm probably going to have to, uh, kick people off the internet at home because it's showing up some slowdown real quick. So give me one second, guys. We'll make that happen. Anyways, so moving right along. Will at JLSGaming.com. Shoot me an email. Sponsorships. You want to just chew the, the crap about video games. You want to talk about video game industry stuff, right? Will at... at and, oops, give me one second. Let me get this out of here. What game... play again and play through tmnt you know teenage mutant ninja turtle shredder's revenge and was able to beat that game the 16 levels and it's freaking awesome especially for me a wu-tang raised me kind of guy to fight shredder and hear ghostface and raekwon in the background right and the whole time i had the submersive headphones on um for my xbox lagging all righty sorry about that let me uh try to change this up a little bit see if it's the streaming stuff in the background how does how about now beautiful liliana lasalle in the house <sighs> wink wink man that just means i need a new computer for christmas so i'm gonna buy myself a new more powerful computer so i can have you know better streams and stuff like that because apparently I, I really don't know why it lags um, when when things are, yeah, it really lags when um, between the combination of that and people chewing up bandwidth. By the way, we're getting that new Google um, Wi-Fi with uh, you know, there's just a lot of uh, internet and latency issues. We have the Google um, expandable one, the older one that Finally, they updated now. I think the last time it was updated was five, you know, four or five years ago. So anyway, moving, keeping it moving, right? Um, we're going live on Drip next Saturday. Guys, really, the link is going to be below. You see the link right there. You get free $15 for your first purchase. And what we're doing is we're going to have some awesome, we're going to have giveaways galore. Right, so we're gonna be giving stuff away for free. So make sure that you join. It's next Saturday, right? Um, make sure that you join. The link is below. We're gonna be giving stuff away, but besides giving stuff away, we're gonna be practically giving some stuff away because if you sign up right through the link, you get fifteen dollars off your first purchase of twenty dollars or more. So what we're gonna do for people is we're gonna have a bunch of great games, 30, 40, 50 dollar games that we're gonna have in there buy it now for 20 bucks so 20 25 bucks so essentially you're going to get some great 40 50 60 dollar games for if you get the 15 dollar credit right on your first purchase you're, you're going to get them cheap anyway 20 or 25 bucks but if you get the 15 dollars credit you're going to get them for five to ten bucks guys so make sure you you tune in um ty ty tastic who his link is below too He'll be live on that Saturday as well. And maybe some other Real Money Team members will be live, man. So stay tuned, right? Sorry I had to move it from today. Just uh, was feeling a little under the weather and stuff like that, right? Uh, Marvel versus Capcom 2, RK went up Wells. So some people have already started. I think the first person that got it was out there in Australia. Sort of like the where the iPhones, right? Where Australia, because they're technically like with the international time, zone thing or whatever like that they are ahead of us you know so while we're still sunday they're already working on monday right um 
So anyway, so guy over there, Reese, I think his name was, got one first, was giving his thoughts. And the main thing is it shipped without the online play capabilities for MVC2. And um, it's sort of it's sort of misleading because they didn't give people the heads up. They created this FOMO issue. Um, a lot of people are putting blame on some influencers, some arcade one up, home arcade scene, um, you know, influencers and and uh, media, right? And um, they're putting blame on them for creating this fear of missing out where people had to pre-order. Um, they're even saying that there's FTC, potential FTC violations around it. And it's really crazy. And I'm telling you, as, as I see some of the reviews, some of the people, and they show the cabinet in person, they're showing the gameplay, some glitches here and there. Um, it really does seem uh, incomplete. Um, and what, what happens is, you know, there's the availability of being able to play online. Um, I think, like we said earlier, I pre-ordered it. So I'm supposed to get it from GameStop. I'm supposed to get it sometime around the 18th, right? So what is that? Nine days from now. I'm debating canceling my pre-order or keeping it. I think I'm going to keep it, but I might end up doing like I did last year with Big Blue. I'll give it a month or something like that and return it or sell it, you know? And the reason last year I sold Big Blue and I gave it to good good friend now you know what I'm trying to say um through the sale of that was just it, it I didn't like the fact that I would log on there wasn't that many people in the lobbies there was you know people were playing very 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 cheesy um there was a lot of people with fake gimmick accounts and stuff like that um you know and just the experience wasn't really fun and I was saying to myself listen man I can play via Fightcade I can play via other, um, right, the Street Fighter 30th collection and stuff like that and get some games, get get some good thing, be able to block people, right? That was one of the features that it wasn't there. So these troll accounts, um, people just quitting. The, the, I don't even know if the microphone functionality ever got turned on. So that turned me off and it turned me off dramatically from RK went up at the time. And I swore I wouldn't get one until RK went up, announced MVC2. I was turned off immediately from Blitz not having, um, you know, removing a lot of the features. And I get it with the NFL now in order to get the licensing, but that's not Blitz, right? That's an, a reimagining of the Blitz that we know in a cabinet, you know, in a cabinet form factor or whatever like that for a hefty price. And there's a lot of people that are disappointed with Blitz as well. Um, gameplay glitches, no online that for that either. They're promising by the middle of October, which the middle of October is six days away. So less than a week away. So, you know, these are K1 up woes, man. I mean, this is just starting to become commonplace, guys. Like, I remember I got the very first, uh, from the first wave, the very first RK1 up, the Street Fighter 2 one, and my pre order got delayed. I had to get one on launch from Think Geek in Miami that nobody knew that Think Geek got some. And I called and I had to drive to Miami. Um, I lived about 30 minutes away in a suburb and pick it up, right? And then canceled my, my pre-order, right? Um, after I picked it up on day one. And that thing, if you guys remember, Wolfenos, what's up, buddy? Um, if you guys remember the original Street Fighter II cabinet for RK went up, it had the, the audio issue, right? Where it was mono, you know what I'm trying to say? Or what was it? Oh man, Wolf. So you see what I'm saying? This is the stuff out there with the community. So Wolfinos, well-respected member of the community. Like I said, our very first tutorial video that I spent so much time and love on. And I always tell Wolfinos, man, thank you for doing what you do for the community, brother. Is um, So you see what Wolfinos is saying, right? Your dollar speaks volumes. Don't want a GIMP product for that kind of money. That's halfway to a DIY cap. And Wolf, you're, you're spot on. Right, because when I got discouraged with the big blue, I ended up commandeering. Shout out to my buddy Eric Sands. You know what I'm saying? Was chatting with him last night. You know, uh, you know, people out there screwing over business people. But Eric built my Marvel. I commandeered or whatever it's called. I think I used the wrong word. Commissioned a Marvel versus Capcom two cap with the graphics and everything like that. Our, our apologies, my JLS Gaming uh, YouTube uh, Instagram channel is down. 
and I'm still trying to talk to Meta about it. But it's awesome. It has it on there. I'm also in the process of one of my projects to have for next year is to um, build a, I want to get a Naomi in a Bulix cab, right? So I want a nice blue Bulix cab. Now that supply chains are kind of getting back to normal and stuff like that, I can probably import one in, you know, a lot cheaper than people doing reservations. Shout out to Ty Tastic, who I told him to try to get one on a container because uh, he's doing a visit to, uh, he's doing a visit to Japan in one queue of next year. And he's going to get a lot of stuff and he's getting a container um, and he's going to do a bunch of shows from Japan purchasing stuff for guys, right? So make sure you follow Titastic. Spank, what's up, brother? You know what I'm trying to say? And, um, you know, I, I commented, and I love my Marvel vs. Capcom 2 main cap, right? And you guys know I'm a big MVC2 fan, so I got multiple copies. I got authentic ROM chips for Marvel vs. Capcom. I got um, um, multiple copies of MVC2 Dreamcast. Japanese version and everything like that. So I'm not a bootlegger when I'm sitting there playing the ROM on Ficade, you know what I'm trying to say, via Flycast or playing it on my Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cap. Um, you know, like I said, but love the game and everything like that. I even own it, but it's the 32-bit version on, you know, the iPhone, so I can't play it until they make an update. So the good thing about RK1UP, basically getting that license discharged. So the whole hashtag free mvc2 campaign the good thing with that is unless rk one up signs some exclusive exclusive that they have a year exclusivity to that license which i doubt but even if they did soon you will start seeing mvc2 again on platforms um again where maybe they'll just come out the blue and do an update so you'll be able to do, use it again on your ipad or your iphone right because again i had it full blown on there um and that's very promising, right? So that's the promising part. But like Wolfano said, don't get me wrong. They've done a few casts right, but no BOE monitor, no online is huge. See, I didn't know it had no BOE monitor, Wolf. I, wow, I didn't know that. That's another another piece right there. That's huge. That's huge too. They can't say it can't do online because I've done it via retro arch alone. That's huge too. Now Wolfano's is, you know, his images and everything like that, right, are, are top notch. And that was another thing too that I was gonna say. Besides people using Ficade and Flycast and, and the 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 stuff around Ficade, the 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 how I don't know how the sausage is made, right? For but those brilliant guys, I, I support them. I'm on one of the tiers on Patreon. I gladly pay, I think it's the five or seven dollar tier. Gladly pay it every month because what those guys do is phenomenal, right? And allow these games to to grow and everything like that. Um, let's go, Spank. Right. Woof. Thank you again, man, for joining. I agree. You know what I'm trying to say? RMT jumping in. Thank you, guys. You know what I'm saying? I was watching Ty in the background, but it was probably slowing me down. Hey, little one. You know what I'm saying? And the beautiful Liliana LaSalle. Um, but again, I, I might get the cab and I might I might return it within my, my return period. I, hopefully, I don't have to pay an open box fee. If you guys know Game Bo GameStop, would GameStop charge me an open box fee? If I return the pre-order and I'm dissatisfied after two weeks, if if they will, maybe I'll return it and eat the open box fee or something like that. Maybe I'll keep it, um, or maybe I'll just sell it. You know, I'm trying to say to somebody that can enjoy it because the experience is awful. Because I like the cab too, but I hate those holes in the cab. And I know they sell the little 3D printed little things. I hate them holes in the cabs where the screws are, man. I hate the little line that I seen. I think it was, I was watching, I think it was, it was either Reese or She Lion, and they were showing the, the little line because because where they have the extender to make the cab a little taller. Um, I hate that stuff, man. So I, I don't know. I got to see it. And the beautiful Liliana LaSalle is going to build it and we'll have a video around it, right? Because, you know, she's not just beautiful, but she's a super handy person. Oh, okay. You might be mistaken, Wolf. 
I this is my first time hearing it. I didn't I just totally side skipped that because I know everybody was complaining on everything else. And I'm just sitting there like the online is like the deal breaker for me. Like I would love to go on there and see that and experience it and make sure it's not laggy and glitchy and, and leaderboards and they have some kind of system in there, especially because we're sponsoring Moats December tournament already. Like I've already committed to sponsoring Moats December Marvel versus Capcom 2 uh tournament on um arcade one up. Right. So, you know, we're going to contribute to that, uh, um, to that pot or so, but enough beating that man. Um, let's talk about some super Mario movie. You guys watch the trailer, right? Uh, I thought the trailer was phenomenal. And I agree with some people that saying that the voice, Chris Pratt's voice, it, it, it doesn't sound much better than he, than when he was joking around, he's saying, Hey, it's me, Mario. Right, where he's sounding like a freaking, and we, beautiful Liliana LaSalle and I are from Jersey, New York, you know, so sometimes people say we got an accent. I don't know, when I lived in the Midwest, when when I visited Australia, you know, people out there saying, crikey, shout out to Spank, throw boomerangs in the chat. Um, but I, and I can understand where they want Martinette's voice, right? And supposedly Martinette has some kind of cameo on there. So that's probably saying a lot. Maybe there's some multiverse kind of shenanigans that are going to go on or something like that. But, you know, um, the good thing is the feedback. Maybe Chris Pratt changes it up. Maybe they do some kind of auto tune to make him sound more Mario-ish. Um, but I think the movie looked phenomenal, bro. I think it looked beautiful. I think the way that they made his features, it still looks like Mario, but it's more humanized. And you can tell it's more than just a quick, 3d render or something like that like this is true kind of automation facial features expressions the the eyes right and that's the windows to the soul man so it communicating uh feelings and emotions and stuff like that like i think it's going to be a great movie man so you know we're going to be out there in april you know when pre-orders go up for that guys what are your thoughts on that stuff man you know i'm trying to say boomerangs in the chat <laughs> he's trying to do the luo banner yeah wolf remember that that's the girls who want to have fun dad was mario too you know what i'm trying to say and that's better than ron jeremy mario like i don't know if that's just graphics you know what i'm trying to say photoshop or something like that or ron jeremy really posed like that dude but i gotta get that picture out my head now you know what i'm trying to say uh yeah the bob the bob haskins captain lou you know what i'm saying um voice and you know i I like it. it. It sounds more like like a New Yorker voice, and um, but I see where people are are saying and and listen. They got their way with Ugly Sonic and New Sonic, and um, dude, that's the that's the power of the internet. But I don't, you know, man. I heard people are bullying, people are bullying Chris Pratt, bro. That's Star Lord, man. Come on, that's Star Lord. Don't bully Chris Pratt because he don't. Got the cartoonish Mario voice. Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> right? Like, they bullying Chris Pratt. That's Star-Lord, man. Jeez, bro. We got a... I think it's this this Christmas. We got the holiday special, Guardians of the Galaxy, the holiday special. Then next year, we got Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Right? It's like, shout out to Gunn. You know what I'm trying to say? Because I need him to finish that stuff and create Peacemaker Season 2. Peacemaker Season 2. You know what I'm trying to say? And all that good stuff. That was a real movie. Get the heck. Oh, see, Wolfenos. Wolfenos, if you don't know, I'm gullible, bro. So I'm going to believe you. So I'm, I might Google that right after this show. <laughs> Guys, you know, this is PG-13. Don't go Googling that, that movie that Wolf is talking about. Because if it's a real thing, I'm not going to be held liable. You know what I'm trying to say? But I believe him. I found no reason. October 11th and 12th, Amazon Prime Day. Crazy deals. And what this is going to do is... Other stores are going to start dropping deals. So Christmas shopping is getting earlier and earlier. I was already telling Liliana today, like, yo, we got to make a Christmas list, a honey-do list, a house wish list. And I, I always stack up on gift cards when they're on sale, um, right? You get 10, 15% off a gift card. Then with that gift card, I keep telling everybody that's the trick I use. Then when you get a discounted gift card and you buy something on a discount, double winning double winning i've gotten i had three years of xbox game pass for like 45 dollars out of my pocket with all the deals that happen around black friday 
Amazon Prime Day earlier and earlier, Cyber Monday, all that good stuff. So save your money, right? Save your money because Amazon Prime Day is the 11th and 12th. There's going to be a bunch of good deals. Um, I think that's enough for gaming news. I said more gaming news. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, there's not really much stuff. Speaking of RK one ups, there's a bunch of cabinets on sale at Walmart for $199. One of the Street Fighter ones, a Mortal Kombat one. It's kind of regional, but go on there and check if you want to buy one because $199 for some of these cabs is a bargain, especially if it's the ones that are online compatible because then you can play. There's no monthly fee and you can play, you know, online. Ah, man, see, now Wolf is saying, no, it's true. Look it up, right? So your mileage may vary. Be careful, you know what I'm trying to say, and everything like that. I am going to Google it right after the show, though. I, I, I tell you, Liliana's probably already Googling it. So I got to be careful because knowing how she is, she's probably sending me text, text messages with, with pictures or the link and everything like that. Guys, oh, beef. I'm sorry. AK started the day. Beef is it what's for dinner. Guys, and Wolf, Wolf knows about this too. Guys, come on, man. Can we all just get along and uplift each other for all these gaming communities? Right? There's too much beef. I see people in the community arguing with each other. I sponsor sponsor things, and then all of a sudden I'm watching videos and I'm like, what's going on here? And I'll text like a mutual friend and I'll say, Hey man, what's all this beef about? Right? And they'll tell me, What you talking about? And I'm like, dude, I haven't watched things in a couple weeks, you know, and I'm seeing people going at each other, people, you know, cursing, making Dude, here's, let me tell you this tidbit. And and Wolf, Spank, Liliana, Chelsea can all appreciate this, right? The average street fight, the average street fight is 47 seconds, guys. That's the average street fight. I looked it up. It's based off of data on 300 street fights. The average street fight, and there's actually like phases of street fights. 47 seconds is the average. People are spending hours creating seven to ten minute videos fighting with each other and then they kiss and make up hypothetically or theoretically whatever the hell it is speaking i don't mean for real they kiss and make up guys they kiss and make up and turn around <laughs> and then disable the videos it's like, dude, like, why waste all that effort, man? Time is money. Don't waste all that effort doing that stuff. Don't make songs. Don't make this, that, then some. Come on, guys. Like, yo, just get along. Don't, you know, whatever. I know controversy. I know. But the community is too small. Let's help grow the community, right? That's why the beautiful Liliana and myself, JLS Gaming, we we sponsor a lot of these um, things, a lot of these, uh, events, right. PRGE we're sponsoring, which is, I believe next week, right. Um, a lot of these tournaments, RMT, we're going to start doing tournaments and not just RK one up, but in actual games like Mario Kart and stuff like that. The reason we do that is because we want to grow the community. Like we really are of the community and growing this community. Right. And, and that's what I love about it. So guys make love, not war, man. And again, you know, I'm old school. You settled your beef with a street fight and maybe y'all went to a club or a pub or something like that afterwards and buy a drink and, and, and you guys are cool again, right? But that's that's crazy to me that you spend all that time and effort editing and everything like that, creating 10 minute beef videos that some get a chuckle, some are pretty good, some are pretty funny. And then when you guys squash your beef, you take them down. It's a waste of hits, views, monetization. Spend your efforts on on better investments of your time. Make some good content, kick ass and all that. So I love all you guys, right? I sponsor people on both sides of the beefs and everything like that. Sometimes I come back, oh, they were beefing, now they cool again? I didn't know. But um, chill, man, chill with the beefs, guys. What are your thoughts on all that, all that beef? Yeah, Wolf is, usually both sides get hurt. They hurting each other's feelings. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, Chelsea said, internet tough. Oh. Woof. Woof is bringing up bum fights. Oh, man, bro. I remember that. And Kimbo Slice. Rest in peace, Kimbo Slice. Right? Um, Yeah, Woof, man. I, I forgot who I was telling the other day. I did one of the first MMA fights because I used to do press for fighthype.com i did one of the first mma fights of kimbo slice covered it with my brother-in-law liliana's brother and um 
We he and the post fight presser. He was f gonna fight. What was his name? Out there by you guys, uh, uh, Spank and Little One um, from Minnesota. I think Brett Rogers. He was gonna fight Brett Rogers uh, at the post fight presser. Yeah, build each other up instead of turning each other down. I don't get it. It hurts everybody. It hurts people involved. And then at the end of the day, people really ain't gonna fight. And if they do fight, it's gonna last 47 seconds. Y'all gonna put that much money, time, and effort into this drama to, to then, then people aren't. Oh man, Spank is out there looking, looking it up. We're looking it up. And Liliana, make love not war is the theme. Oh my goodness. I don't know if y'all being serious or not, bro. I really don't know if y'all being serious. I'm gonna look at it, but I'm sure my text messages are blowing up right now. My Discord is blowing up with screenshots and everything like that, man. You guys are are, are too much, bro. Um, wrapping it up, man. Wrapping it up, guys. No pun intended. You know, wrapping the show up, not wrapping anything else up. Episode 214, I'll try to come this week. I've been real busy at work, guys. Um, I'm preparing for a conference that I'm going to speak at, another conference I'm going to attend. And we are sponsoring Free Play Florida. The beautiful Liliana LaSalle is in charge of the VIP party, which is ET 40th anniversary themed. What? So if you're in the Florida area or you want to come to Free Play Florida, hit us up, right? We're sponsoring that event. It's real cool and everything like that. Um, <laughs> shout out to the RNT family. We got Chelsea and we got Spank in here, uh, Dan, Daniel. Um, but shout out to the rest of the family. Too many to name. The links are below with the people's dr drip shops. Uh, I got to go in there and add more people as they get approved. But we got big things coming up on drip. Uh, shout out to the JLS Gaming family, the beautiful Liliana LaSalle, Willow, Brizzo, uh, <laughs> Super Pornio Brothers. Oh my goodness, man. Uh, I can't even think now. I can't even think now because I, it, unless, you know, Super Hornio Brothers. Oh my goodness. I think Wolf, I, I think Wolf is making it up, man. I think Wolf is making it up, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm going to be Googling it, right? FBI going to be sitting out there looking at my, my search history. You know what I'm trying to say? And they're going to be like, well, this guy's definitely crazy out there. RNT, shout out to RNT. Follow the Twitch channel, Real Money Team underscore live, right? Um, they're doing a giveaway there. We are, right? Um, between Titastic and myself, hundred dollar um giveaway once we, we reach I forgot what the threshold is, but we're trying to reach affiliate status and we're doing a giveaway as part of that. So really, 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 if you guys are on Twitch follow it you know what i'm trying to say go watch some of the videos ty's been streaming apex legends continuously he might still be streaming right now i'm wrapping it up this is a long one it's been real fun with everybody out there right we are gonna do a giveaway and i gotta be careful here because uh <laughs> the, what i see with the beefs are also beefs around ftc violations and violations for promos we're doing a giveaway it's a true giveaway right of a console of somebody's choice and it's completely random once we reach 50,000 subs so it's not saying manipulating i'm not saying oh you got to do it by this time it's open to any of the 50,000 subs when we get there and it's going to be completely random and just given away um it's not sponsored and we do reveal our sponsors right um and we don't take sponsorships from external it's people within our family and our community so when we get sponsorships and stuff like that and if there ever is all the stuff we do we buy ourselves and if there ever is um i don't even monetize the channel guys remember that right i turned off monetization so i'm not in it for the money i'm in it for the community building up the community yes for those that know me they know that there's some monetization strategy um but it's not on youtube trust me on that for those that know me they know what the big picture is shout out to wolf and Oz, shout out to spank shout out to little one beautiful liliana lasalle for being here and spending some time with us um it's been great as always peace love you guys